claiming officials have covered up the presence of asbestos in one of the city's schools. Samuel Rivers contends state inspectors found a number of problems during a December 2012 inspection. The school in question is the Parker Elementary School located at 416 South 6th Avenue in Mount Vernon. And News 12, John Gump. It was back in December of 2012 that the State Department of Health inspected the Parker Elementary School in Mount Vernon following an anonymous report of asbestos danger in that school. Deputy actor Samuel Rivers says the department found school district officials are doing a poor job of monitoring asbestos, which can remain as long as it's contained. They said that this hasn't been a plan in place here for media asbestos since 2005, which I think every parent should be up in arms. Rivers also complains that the district's administration has kept the school board in the dark about the situation. Board member Frances Wim tells News 12 she's not aware of any problems with asbestos in the Parker School. She doubts interim superintendent Judith Johnson swept it under the rug. I can say to you truly that our interim superintendent hides nothing. Following the initial report, school district officials say they brought in an independent contractor who did his own inspection of the school. A spokesperson for the school district says there's no exposed asbestos in this building. The parents we've spoken to say the lack of information is causing concern. This is my first time hearing about it also as a parent and, you know, as child, as kids, they're not supposed to breathe that in. That's dangerous. If there's asbestos in the, in the school, I think they should, you know, take it into concern and do something about it. Well, it's a major concern because my daughter and my son goes here, so, you know, it's a major concern. I wouldn't want them to come here and asbestos is here. But Rivers says he feels there's only one response the district should have, and that is to shut down the school. In Mount Vernon, John Goff, News 12.